was immediately clear from the crime scene was how fast the thieves managed to steal $31 million worth of jewelry. It took less than a minute and was the largest heist in Japanese history. Japan had never experienced anything like this before. The Comtesse de Vendôme, a necklace studded with 116 diamonds, was stolen in broad daylight. This wasn't the Yakuza. Working with Interpol, the Japanese detectives concluded this was the work of the Pink Panthers. A Serbian man named George Arasevich led the raid, aided by Dorothy Fasola, a.k.a. Mrs. Big. They kept a low profile, but meticulously planned every part of the heist. They were later joined by Alexander Radlovich and Snizana Panajotovic. To remain undetected, they send in an attractive woman to memorize the layout, in this case Panajotovic. An artist then sketches this for the Pink Panthers to work from. The two men raided the shop, whilst the two women acted as lookouts from across the street. The store clerk was assaulted with pepper spray and locked in the bathroom. By the time he alerted the police, the Panthers had escaped with a necklace. It was a classic Panthers heist. No one was seriously harmed, and they were out in less than a minute with a single item worth $31 million. What stuck out in this particular case was the lack of security. Why was such a valuable necklace protected by a glass case and simple alarm system? It later emerged that the jewelry store was facing bankruptcy. Suspicion quickly turned to it being an inside job. The Panthers escaped Japan, but two years later, Rasovich was arrested at Belgrade Airport after being recognized by officials. Radlovich and Panajotovic were also arrested and are now serving sentences in a Serbian prison. Dorothy Fazola eluded prosecution. The Comtesse de Vendôme hasn't been seen since the robbery. It's believed to have been dismantled, recut and resold. The question of the insurance fraud remains unanswered. <laughs>